Fortnite is arguably one of the most popular video games of all time. And for good reason, by combining fun shooting mechanics, very much loved by Americans, and skillful building to make a battle royale unlike anything else. Recently, Fortnite had a major update bringing back the original map to the game, along with original cosmetics, guns, and familiar locations such as Tulsa Towers, Greasy Grove, my uncle's crypto business. But is this update actually good for the game? Well, let's get straight into it. I'm never doing that again. That was the most cringe thing ever. The new season of Fortnite that released on the 3rd of November, Epic Games is bringing back the classic feeling of Fortnite, and after each week, there will be new hotfixes including content from later seasons. On the surface, it seems great, attracting both new and old players to the game. And yes, it is mostly good. Epic Games is using a strategy that was commonly used in games such as World of Warcraft, exploiting of nostalgia. I get intense nostalgia of working in the chemical factory. Fortnite was slowly becoming more and more forgotten and the community was nowhere near as active as it was in 2017. However, this new update has given nostalgia to players who used to play many years ago, which in turn has caused many of them to return to the game. Many of the newer players also may have had not a clue what the original Fortnite felt like, because they were used to the extremely <laughs> high quality gameplay. They may have wanted to check it out. But that's not the only thing this update has done right. The limited time facts of this event is another important detail. Since there, were, there will be new items added every week, it creates an incentive for the community to play as much of the game as possible, in order to unlock limited time cosmetics as well as view the new, but also old map, in its entirety before new things are added to it. Epic Games loves to add new locations and items to existing locations, and since there will be a lot of players during this time frame, it's the perfect time for a limited time event. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows here. There's a factor here you may not have not even thought about. The servers themselves. If you were trying to play the new update on launch day, there was a good 30 minute queue to get into the game, which sparked a lot of hate on Twitter and Reddit. Even I had to deal with the loading time of nearly an hour because of the large amounts of people on the servers. And even when people loaded in, there were frequent game crashes because of the intense amount of people on the servers. The number of concurrent players reached 4 million players, which is just absurd. The high amount of players on the server may impact the community negatively, as seen on numerous platforms already. If a game like this is going to be done for nostalgia purposes, the server should have been strong enough to withstand the entire community logging on at, la at once. Despite how ridiculous that sounds. Epic has also stated that they will be adding new content never before seen to this game. Well, that may be good for new players, but it may also give returning players a sense of confusion, since many of them may not have a single idea on what certain items' purposes are. Another drawback of this new content are the collectibles. Since many of the Fortnite cosmetics were limited to respective seasons, many of the returning players may think that they wasted money on supposedly limited edition skins. But the new players may use this as an opportunity to grab the limited edition skins, so it all depends on from which side you view it from. From the game developer's point of view, it is a way of gaming revenue, so that's great. Fortnite OG is definitely a great update, but with all great things, there are some drawbacks. If you are a returning player, or someone who has never played the game before, there's no better time than to get into the game that, than right now. Even though it's exam season, but we ignore. Since you watched the entire video all the way through, you liked it. Here's another one just like it. Click it with your nose.